हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सचिन मधुकर पवार एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथ्स अ मैजिक विद सचिन स्ट्राइक इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल यू विल गेट द वीडियोस फ्रॉम ग्रेट फर्स्ट टू टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड मैथ्स कॉन्सेप्ट्स वेर मैथ्स कॉन्सेप्ट्स आई विल मेकिंग यू मोर इंटरेस्टिंग एंड ईजी अंडरस्टैंडिंग फॉर यू टूडे आई हैव गॉट वन टॉपिक फॉर यू दैट इज मेजरमेंट कन्वर्जन इन दिस मेजरमेंट कन्वर्जन्स यू आर लर्निंग लॉट्स ऑफ फॉर्मलिस students are learning from grade 3 to 6th standard lots and lots of formulas we are going to see in few minutes how much formulas they are learning okay so with my trick there will be no need to learn a single formula so let's see how it's going on okay so today's topic is measurement convergence students in measurement convergence we have three units three types of units are there length capacity and weight let's see how many formulas are there in each so first is length and then we have kilometer then hectometer decameter then meter decimeter centimeter and millimeter so these are the seven units are there in le uh, length measurements okay so here kilometer is converted into six units like hectometer decameter meter decimeter centimeter and millimeter okay so like this each unit each unit can be converted into six six conversions okay so here suppose so we have six into seven total six conversions are there and seven is there okay for each seven term units are there so we have um, 42 units for length same we have for capacity we have kiloliter hectoliter decaliter liter deciliter centiliter and milliliter in this also seven units are there and 6 into 7 42 okay then next comes weight in weight we have kilogram hectogram decagram gram decigram centigram then milligram in this also we have seven units okay okay in this also we have seven units are there so here yeah, 6 into 7 again 42 now friends you can understand we have 42 42 42 means in all total we have 126 formulas students are learning 126 formulas for the conversion in that sometimes we are multiplying sometimes we are dividing so most of the students what they do they do it like by chance 1 km is equal to 1000 meters sometimes if they are multiplying uh, sometimes they are dividing it right but here in my trick there will be no luck by chance so you'll get the perfect solutions also perfect formula you'll get okay so let's see how we are going to do it so first we'll go for the length okay in length suppose i want to convert 6 km into decimeter okay 6 km decimeter but before converting now here in this you should know 1 km is equal to how much decimeter right students normally they knows 1 km is equal to 1000 meter 1 meter is equal to 100 cm these two formulas they knows but if you ask others they are confused okay So let's see. Now, with the my trick, you have to ask yourself two questions. Whatever question may be given to you, 
वॉट एवर क्वेश्चन मे बी गिवन टू यू यू हैव टू आस यूर सो टू क्वेश्चन वन क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज यू आर कन्वर्टिंग हायर टू लोअर यूनिट और लोअर टू हायर यूनिट राइट नाउ वी हैव हायर टू लोअर यूनिट एंड देन लोअर टू हायर यूनिट राइट ना स्टूडेंट टेल मी डू वी हैव द ग्रोथ or the age of a person is coming from lower to higher or higher to lower higher to lower means if i i want to say that suppose a person is born of with 100 years then his age is coming 90 80 70 60 then he becomes zero slowly and then he dies is it like this no it's not like that so growth is always from lower to higher when higher to lower higher to lower is there is it the correct process no no means how we are writing in the symbol we are writing in the cross way right we are writing in the cross way but cross in the mathematics means what cross in the mathematics means multiplication so keep in mind that whenever we are converting higher to lower unit we should multiply and when we are going from lower to higher this is the first question got it first question again i repeat that whenever you are converting higher to lower multiply lower to higher when you are going that time you divide now second question second question arises that by how much by the 10 100 1000 10000 i have to multiply or divide that confusion is there with the students that also i clear it here now let's take this example 6 km into decimeter is there so here from kilometer to decimeter i have to count right so you count the steps till decimeter How many units are there in between? One. I'm going from here. One, two, three, four. So you have to use four zeros in front of one. Okay. Let's solve this question. So write six kilometer. Okay. Now six kilometer is equal to six. I'm going higher to lower. That's why I will multiply here. Multiply. Okay. Then. How many steps here? From here we have seen. Again we have seen. From kilometer I have to go to decimeter. So one, two, three, four. You don't have to include the where you are. Okay. So kilometer there. So you have one, two, three, four. So put four zeros. Okay. So you will get decimeter. So therefore six kilometer is equal to six. So six kilometer is equal to sixty thousand decimeter. You have seen that I have not used a single formula here. I have not asked also. Normal students are writing we know that. Students are asked to drill, write one kilometer, thousand meter, one kilometer, thousand meter, ten times, twenty times. They are asked to drill it, right? But in my case, there is no need to do it. Okay? So we solve one more problem here. Okay. Now conversion of this, I hope everyone knows 
how to convert the fraction into decimal if you don't know i'm going to put the video of that also so you get very easily you will uh, convert the fraction into decimal so in this way i have used so students you have seen here i have not used any formula here got it so in this way by answering yourself by two questions first whether we are going higher to lower or lower to higher second question steps how many steps are there so this questions answer you are getting it means that the solution is there so in my with my trick students there is no need to learn a single formula okay we we'll take one more example here Now we'll see the example with the weight. Okay, let's see with the example weight. Now suppose I want to convert seventy-five hectogram into gram. Okay, seventy-five hectogram I want to convert into gram. So what I'll do first seventy-five hectogram then. Now, first question. This is the first question. Whether we are going higher to lower or lower to higher. So, from hectogram, I am going gram. So, I am going from higher to lower unit. Okay. So, means I will multiply. Higher to lower, multiply. Lower to higher, divide. Okay. So then, by how many? How much I have to multiply? Then here, hectogram is there. So one, two. So just put. Two zeros. So therefore, I'll get seventy-five hectogram is equal to seven five zero zero gram. I hope it's very easy. Easily I've got students. I hope you have understood how to solve the problems without formula. Is it easy? Students, if you like my video, please click on the like button. Okay, and click on the thumb. And if you If you want the my next videos, click on the bell button where you'll get the automatically you'll get the notification of my next video. Students, so my next video I'm going to learn that is tables. Yes, tables where students, maximum students, schools, uh, students, teachers are asking students to learn the tables. In my trick, there is no need to learn the tables. Third grade student also can write the tables till the 99. Yes, third grade student also. Will be able to write the table still 99, and that also without learning any single table. Okay, so wait for my next video, and please give your suggestions or any topic, particular topic you are getting it very difficult. Share that with me. I'll send you send you the trick for that. Okay, thank you.